One of the great things about arch and design is the ability to achieve translucent surfaces. So translucency is defined as illumination coming from behind a surface, illuminating that surface. So in other words, you know, normally when you have light striking a solid surface, you know, light will hit that surface and illuminate it and then that's it. There's nothing else going on there. But when you have a light shining through a surface, then you need to have that light contribute to the rendered color of the surface. So that's what translucency is all about, is allowing us to simulate the effect of a semi-opaque material with a backlight. So in this example, I've got a lamp, and currently it's got a standard arch and design assigned to it, but it's got no reflectivity, no transparency, nothing fancy going on just yet. So let's do a render of that, see what that looks like. So here it is with no transparency and no translucency. Uh, don't worry about the lighting in any of these. We're going to talk about how all the lighting works later. Currently, you'll see we're getting shadows cast and all that kind of good stuff. So if I want to see a translucent lampshade here, then I want to play around with the parameters in the refraction section of Arch and Design. So first of all, we have straight up transparency, and that's fairly obvious. We've seen that with glass. If I set the transparency to 1, for example, then we're going to get a transparent material. And I've got a color in here to make it a tinted transparent material. So let's render that and see what that gives us. Suddenly now, my scene is much brighter. And we're not getting any shadows because the material is completely transparent. So it's not blocking the light. Okay, well, that's not really what we want. We want it to be casting a shadow, and we want it to be as if it were lit from behind. And that's where translucency comes in. So I can turn that on, and we can play around with these parameters here. So the weight of the translucency is the most important thing here. That controls the balance between transparency and backlight. And you'll see here I've got a value of 0.5. That's probably a pretty good starting value to begin with. And then you'll also notice that I've got a color here for the color of the translucency itself. So in other words, this is the color that's going to shine through from the other side. So that's different from the transparency color. Basically, this is going to have more to do with the color of the shadows, and this is going to have more to do with the color of the surface as rendered. Give that a shot. So now we're seeing backlight, and we're seeing transparent shadows. So then we can play around with the translucency. If we want to give more emphasis to the translucency and less emphasis to the transparency, then we can increase this weight value. So I could set it to maybe 0.8 and then do another rendering. And that's really all there is to it. I can play around with these parameters to get the exact look that I want. Of course, that's also going to be dependent upon my lighting and exposure in my scene. But that's how you will achieve translucent effects with Arch and Design.